What's up, it's you? For today's video, we're the full jellyfish Pokemon team. I'll be using six Pokemon that are closest to a jellyfish and trying to get the dub. So we got Nihiliko, Tentacruel, and Tentacool, Jellicent, and we got Frillish. Now, the last one, we couldn't really come up with something, so we came up with Drifling. It literally is the same design as a jellyfish, but it's a hot air balloon flying in the sky. So it's going to be flying underwater. It's a little bit of a reach, obviously, but I wanted to get a full team of six, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, this is the battle against Mr. Guzzle. We have two battles today with the jellyfish team, and it's been a while since we've done an animal team too. So there's an animal team you'd maybe want me to do or I haven't done yet. And uh, leave below in the comment section. And of course, people, if you enjoy the videos, drop a like there and let's get into it. So we've got a Rogue and Royal lead and I've got my Tentacle lead. Once again, if you do see any theme teams here, see if you can guess them, I've got a Choice Spec set. So we've got Hydro Pump, Blizzard, Giga Drain and Sludge Wave. Now, Tentacle isn't... Well, it, it, it's got decent speed, and with the trace bags, it's going to be hitting reasonably hard. So going for Hydro Bob on the Rog and Roller, and of course, it's going to be having the sturdy ability to uh, be able to live that. Now, Tentacruel's ability is Liquid Ooze, and I gave it max, sorry, max uh, special attack and max speed. Attack on a special attack, except on your Pinot Shell. But anyway, I gave it Modest Nature this time, because its speed was actually not too bad. So I wanted it, like, really, really hard. Now, the Rog and Roller is going to have a cut step bro and that means it's going to be able to go first and it's going to go boom here so since tentacle isn't what you call the most bulky pokemon in the world it's going to be taken down in one shot so it is what it is people but uh it's a double ko i, I guess you could say an eye for an eye there is rock and roller even got an eye i don't know i think it's just got a mouth it's, and feet walking around <laughs> no, no no so we got our next pokemon here's going to be uh nihilego now obviously i don't I think Naya Lego actually ever is in the water, but it's definitely squid, uh, lo sorry, jellyfish like, not squid like. Uh, on that topic, we will actually be doing a squid Pokemon team uh, probably next week. Now, there are some squids and octopi, so I want to do them in next week's team, but there's not as many of them as the jellyfish. So, next Pokemon is going to be the Durant. It's going to be using Entrainment, so that's going to be getting rid of my Beast Boost. Now, I like to run a physical Nihiligo because it's, it's got some pretty fun moves uh, to use. And I like to run a Choice Band on this set. Now, Head Smash does a lot of damage. I am going to take some nasty Rare Call, but I was pretty happy with that. Uh, now, the Durant is going to have the Eject Button and it's going to be ejecting out of this battle. Now, my move set uh, was as follows. We've got Head Smash for Stab. We've got Gun Shot for Stab. So, two really, really powerful uh, physical moves on there. I mean, its physical attack isn't the greatest in the world, but when you put Choice Band on there, it does hit reasonably hard. Now, I've got Knock Off for Psychic Types, and I've also got Iron Head on there as well, just for a little bit of coverage. Uh, I've got Choice Band as my item, and I've got Max Attack, Adam and Nature, and Max Speed. So, unfortunately, here we got this square. will go for a Shell Smash. Now, I had a feeling it will use Shell Smash, but it didn't really matter what I did. Either I stayed in or I swapped out. Squirtle was always going to be able to get that, uh, you know, that attacking move off there or status move and then attack me. So I started to go for head smash again. I was like, okay, let's see what it's going to do. And it's going to be a physical set going for waterfall and that's going to be the end of Nihilator. It's fine. It's, it's all good. I can easy swap a Pokemon afterwards, right? And, uh, you know, that Durant's still around so it might try that and train it again. But this time, oh, hopefully we'll be ready. So Jellicent is going to be coming in here. I'm fully, uh, you know, probably prepared for this Squirtle because Squirtle doesn't have much to hit me with. Uh, I know it's physical set pretty well. So I've got a Jellicent here. It's a Choice Scarf set. We've got Water Spout, Shock Wave, which is pretty cool. We've got Energy Ball and Trick. So I've got Max Speed, Timber Nature, and Max Special Attack. And I've got the ability Water Absorb. So, you know, Waterfall is going to be completely nullified. So we got the Squirrel going for Outrage. I was like, damn, that did a lot of damage. So even if I did swap another Pokemon, like one of them definitely would have probably nearly got wrecked by Outrage there. So that's going to be the end of Squirtle with the Energy Ball. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad to get rid of that Squirtle. I didn't want to get swept by that thing. Next Pokemon is going to be the Durant. Now, I was like, well, I went for Energy Ball. Can I outspeed Durant and can I take it out with Energy Ball? I am Choice Scarf, but I don't really want a Dynamax here either because I don't want to waste Dynamax on a smaller man health. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the risk here. I'm going to go for Energy Ball and see if I can take it out. You know, Durant's special defense isn't the greatest in the world, but it's going to have first impression and it's going to take me out. I was like, oh, that really, really sucks. So bye-bye, Jellison. Now, on this team... I've got Drifling. Now, as I said, I know Drifling is definitely a stretch for a jellyfish, um, but you must 
you must admit it does look like it does somewhat look like a jellyfish. So if you take the little clouds away in its head, like it's got that similar sort of body, and it's sort of got like I guess you could say the the, the tentacle like things underneath it. Like I really couldn't think of another Pokemon that could actually fit its spot. And remember, I didn't want to include any squid or octopus in this one because I'll be doing that in the next week's video. So this is a pretty interesting set. This is a flame, uh, sorry, flare blues flame mod set, and I've got a hundred percent chance of air cutter crit. Now, I was being a real, I, 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 was, I was being a little bit of a smart ass. I was like, well, Stone Gen has got like two special defense. I wonder if I can take this out. And it's going to live there only just, and it's going to take me out there. Here I should have just gone for a Shadow Ball, but I was really trying to troll hard there. It almost worked, but Stone Journey, obviously, the only reason to live that because it was not very effective. But uh, that's how it goes. The other uh, moves I had on there were Clear Smog, and I've got Clear Smog on there purely to boost my special attack in Dynamax. And yeah, Shadow Ball is the other move. So I've got this Physical Tentacruel. Physical Tentacruel is actually pretty dang good because Tentacruel's got a lot of speed. I've got Cross Poison, Sword Dance, Waterfall, and Headbutt. Headbutt more of a troll move on there and uh, you know I could actually confuse the opponent by going Dynamax if I didn't already do Sword Dance and uh, this is going to be a Scope Lens set I've got Clear Body as the ability so obviously any Intimidate Pokemon coming in there won't drop my attack stat or anything like that and I can you know, try and get a sweep here so Heavy Slam does a lot of damage from the uh, from the Stone Edge, and I can go for Waterfall, and that'll easily be able to take it out. However, I was like, well, this could be a nice little opportunity for me to go for Dynamax here and get the uh, you know the rain happening on the field, and that'll be pretty powerful. And then I'll have at least like one or two more turns in Dynamax to do some like really really good damage. Plus, I've got Sword Dance up, so that's a plus to an attack already. Now, Cross Poison is a good chance of actually critting too, because I've got Scope Lens, like, so it's uh, with with the Cross Poison and the Scope plans it's a you know two out of three uh chance of actually getting crit so it's reasonably good so go for dynamax tentacruel here i've always liked uh the shining on tentacruel as well it looks really really good and uh one time i was watching someone play pokemon too and you know, they didn't really uh didn't really know a lot about pokemon but they were sort of surfing around in the water it was in generation three and they just bumped into a shiny tentacruel full odds it's like tentacruel full odds i was like wow yeah it was, just, it was just one of those things anyway also another story here people have you ever been stung by a jellyfish let me know in the comment section i have and i learned something, something pretty cool i don't know if i mentioned this before but i was um uh, this is when I was really, really young, right? Uh, Magic Cup's on the field, by the way. I'm very, very scared. Uh, I got stung by a jellyfish, right? And uh, so it's, it's really stingy, you know? Obviously, it's tentacles, sort of it's tentacles. It's tentacles. Man, that's a similar thing. Uh, sort of wrapped around my, I think, I think sort of around my finger and my hand. And I was getting some fish and chips, and this guy said, well, you know, here's some vinegar, and just squirts it on my hand. I was like, damn, it's like the sting is gone. So, yeah, the more you know. So if you get stung by a jellyfish, we put some vinegar on it. It, it. it actually works. It's surprising. So Magic RP is going to go for a bounce. It was a pretty smart play because it's actually going to be able to get around a turn of Dynamax, and it sort of forces me to go for the Max Guard too. And that's going to burn up the rest of the Inacruel's uh, Dynamax too. Now, I've got uh, my Tentacruel with Max Speed, but Magic Up, I think this actually might be... Uh, this might be Rattle, because this should be able to outspeed me with Swift Sim like easily. But uh, I'm going to go for a head buddy and I outspeed it. So I say the Magic Up was rattled, so that was interesting. So bye bye, Magic Up. I thought they may try and go for a flail. So next Pokemon, well, that was probably the move coming, I guess. So, so next Pokemon is going to be the uh, Durant. Now I know that I can leave a first impression. Uh, Tentacle's got some good bulk to it, and I can just finish it off with any move. I can go for Waterfall. Uh, I reckon even Headbutt will take it out here. So instead of going for First Impression, it is going to outspeed me, and it's going to go for Entrainment. So getting rid of my clear body and giving me Tran, which sucks. So that means, you know, I'm going to be loafing around the next turn. Like, Tentacruel's going to be eating uh, a nice little loaf of, uh, I don't know, sea cucumber bread. So our uh, last Pokemon we got here to come out. Oh, the rain is uh, stopped too, so my Waterfall won't be as powerful. Uh, that Pokemon is going to be a trap in. So this turn, I'm going to be on Tran. So it's like, okay... Do I swap here or not? I mean, I've got another Pokemon left. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to actually leave it in. Because my last Pokemon actually, I feel, will be able to deal this. Well, hopefully, you know, that was the idea. So, uh, Trap Inch is going to go for a Crunch. My last Pokemon actually was weak to Crunch. So, obviously, they predicted me to swap. So, that was a good move to go for there. You know, but Tentacruel still went down. Trap Inch's attack is actually no joke. So, next Pokemon, uh, last Pokemon team is going to be Frillish. And this is going to be a very, very bulky special defense set. And it's, it's actually quite tanky. So, we got Dive, Toxic, Strength, Sap, and... Uh, 
just sort of like this really bulky set. So I've got Max Elf, and I've got Max Special Act, and I've got Whirlpool as well. Now, Whirlpool's not really handy here because it is the last Pokemon on the team. But Whirlpool prevents them swapping and stuff like that. And then you can uh, heal yourself with Strength Snap and drop the attack of the opposing Pokemon and slowly whittle the health down. Then you can go dive as well and hide it on there while the Whirlpool's happening. So it's pretty good. So outspeeding the Trappage, which is very, very important. And Trappage attack is going to get dropped which is good, and that's going to give me, like, a little bit of healing. Not very much, but, you know, anything's better than nothing right now. So, uh, Trapage is going to go for the Max Darkness here, and look how much damage that does. That's a lot of damage there. So, that's a clean two-hit KO. So, I really either, my option here are to go for the Strength Sap again, or go for the Dive. But if I go for Dive, then I'm probably not going to be able to take that out. There's no way. Like, this doesn't have, like, any EVs in special attack or, you know, attack at all. And, you know, it's, it's not going to be very uh, powerful coming from a frillish of all Pokemon. So I decided to go for another Strength Zap here. I thought, well, I'll drop his attack in and I'll get some healing up. And then after that, I might be able to go for the attacking move. So getting lots of my health back there. All, I mean, all of my health back there. And now the Trapage is going to go for the Max Quake. So Max Quake is going to be super effective, but it is going to actually boost its special defense and it's also going to be Stab as well. So that actually did a lot of damage considering I use strength sap on trap in charge twice so that's gonna what well, that's a life orb man that's a life orb trap in damn so I thought okay one more turn of dynamax instead of me going for like whirlpool or strength sap again how about I go for dive and that'll mean I'll hide underneath the water and then the Dynamax will run out for the big shiny trappage. <laughs> that looks awesome in Dynamax. Look at its big mouth. Actually, that's a really good representation of a uh, train shop. I think that could be my favorite on the team. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to hide underneath the water. The trappage's attack is going to miss, obviously, because I'm underneath the water. And then once Dynamax runs out, I'll hit the trappage with dive and it won't be in Dynamax. And trappage isn't really that bulky at all. See, so any water type move is going to do like a lot of damage. And dive actually one shots it there with a crit now i gotta say i think that crit did matter but i believe it definitely was a two hit k i'm i very much doubt the trap inch would have been able to get around me there without a crit but uh, a really really cool thing thing there can you guess what it is leave it in the comment section below and let's get on to uh battle number two now this is a battle against pulsar and we're on the uh the water field today now i think this was a theme team as well uh i actually will we'll, we'll I have to, I think, yeah, actually it was, a, it was like a double theme team. But uh, I'll, I'll point out the obvious one first. So we're going to Trubbish Lady. I've got my Tentacle as the lead. As I said, this thing was my lead in most of the battles. And, you know, people didn't really expect it to hit, like, super, super hard. Now, this could also work on Dynamax, but the thing about it is, you know, its speed. I mean, its speed was okay, but, you know, it lacked the speed of Tentacruel. So, you could Dynamax it and, you know, go for the uh, Max Ooze and stuff like that, but eventually it would get outsped and, you know, it's pretty easy to one-shot a Tentacruel. So, that's going to be the end of Trubbish first go. Next Pokemon's going to be Weezy. So, uh, there's going to be, like, all Poison-type Pokemon, but... I want you. To, I want to see if you can guess what the actual theme tune is, and that, that's not the theme tune. That was just a little hint. So uh, Weezing's going to come out here. I was like, well, Weezing's special defense isn't that great with choice specs, man. This could actually one shot, you know. But Weezing tanks that rather well. I got to say, I believe that Weezing was was assault best, um, like because choice specs on Tentacle that should have taken out or. You know, almost taking it out. So I believe that's an assault vest wheezing or, you know, crazy investment in uh, health and special rates. So firing off two Hydra pumps in a row, you wouldn't read about it. And that's going to be the end of wheezing. So we're going to go for a tentacle sweep here. And I believe I actually haven't done a tentacle sweep on my channel before. I've always tried to do like a bulky one, but... I know, it always like ended up fighting because I'd either get critical hit or something like that. But uh, I might be able to try and come up with a new set with Tentacle. Haven't looked at it for a little bit. So next Pokemon is going to be Smelly Trash and it's going to be Garbodor. And on top of that, it's going to be G-Max Garbodor. Now, as I mentioned, I was running max speed on Tentacle, but I had to use Modest Nature instead of Timid. So, you know, a Pokemon like Garbodor you know, can actually have decent speed about it too. And I was like, well, I'll be able to get one Hydra Pump off and, you know, I'll, I'll fate up that. But it actually outsped me and it's going to get a Max Knuckle off too. It's like, oh, oh, this is bad. So Max Knuckle is going to take Tentacle out. So this is a Max Speed uh, Garbodor and it's got a plus one too. So 
That was actually really bad. So this thing is actually setting up me. So bye bye Tentacruel. I tried for the uh, the choice spec sweep. Next Pokemon's going to be near Lego. I know I won't be able to you know, one shot this, but if I can just hit it with a powerful uh, head smash. That'll do pretty well. Like, I thought about going for knockoff for a bit. It's like, nah, let's just go for stab with choice band. It should do some really, really good damage. So, head smash does great damage there. Very, very good damage. Absolutely happy with that. And uh, now we've got a max overgrowth here. So, like, okay, max overgrowth. So, physical move. I'd say that this is what I'd say that that Garbodor has got drain punch, seed bomb. That would be its physical attacks. Like, they're the physical attacks that it gets that would work best on a physical, uh, you know, set there. And maybe some other coverage move. I say it's got a poison type move as well, like it's G Max uh, Melodor move. So it's going to get a double round of uh, recovery there from the Black Sludge and the Max Overgrowth. I was like, okay, we've got Jellison here. Now, I know that Jellison's going to get wrecked by a Max Overgrowth, but I do have a Choice, uh, Choice Scarf Water Spout. And that will do a lot of damage. So since it is a sweeping set, I mean, I don't expect to take it out, but I expect this to do some reasonable damage and put it on a low amount of health. So here comes a water spout, and that was pretty damn good damage. I, that was actually really, really good. You know, Garbodor's got a lot of natural bulk about it, too. So here comes the Max Overgrowth, and that is going to be the end of the Jellison. So this thing is uh, sort of like uh, reverse sweeping me at the moment after my tentacle. So a little bit uh, more recovery from the Black Sludge and the grassy terrain there, too. Uh, next Pokemon I'm going to swap in here is going to be Drifflim. So, like, well, they won't be able to use any Fighting-type moves against this. If they use a Grass move, I'll be able to live that as well. In fact, this is actually quite a good Pokemon to swap in. So, I've got my Focus Energy set it. Now, since it does have a plus one in attack, I was a little bit weary about going for Focus Energy. Like, you know what? I'm just going to go for Air Cutter, and I'm just going to get rid of this Pokemon from the field. So, Air Cutter's going to land, and that's going to be the end of Smelly Trash. I didn't need a Critter Ring like that, uh, it's all good, I need a little bit of help. So now my Flame Wall has been activated, and Stunky is the next Pokemon to come out here. Not often you get to see a Stunky used in a battle at all. Not a bad Shiny, too. So I thought, well, I could go for Focus Energy, or I could just go straight up for Air Cutter. I feel like that's going to do a lot of damage anyway, because I've got Flare Boost now. And that's, you know, that's pretty powerful on Drifflin. So now we've got the Stunky going for a Sucker Punch. I thought, I, I knew that I have a chance of having Sucker Punch, but I had to attack this thing to take it out, right? So I went for Air Cutter. Very good damage, but Stunky somehow just lives. I was like, wow. It just it must just be like, maybe it's like max hell. I, I actually, I want to say it's either max hell or it's got an Everlight attacher. One of the two, or a combination of both. So I can go for any movie. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and cheese this thing. Let's see if I go for Focus Energy. I might be able to get around Stunky. Now, the only problem here is I've got the Flame Orb. So as I try to get around this, uh, the Sucker Punch with the Mind Games, I am actually going to take damage myself too. And I've, I haven't got much health left. So like, man... I'm just going to go for attacking move this time. Maybe they'll expect me to go for it again. But once again, since I had such a small amount of health, I sort of had to rush attacking this thing. Like, like if I had full health, I could have gone for Focus Energy for a lot longer, you know, and wouldn't have had to worry about that. I could have gone for Dynamax too, but that would have been a waste at the same time. So I just went for attacking move. Stunky's going to go for a Sucker Punch, and, you know, that's the end of my Drifling too. I don't believe that was choice at all. I mean, it could have been Max Elf. And Max Stack, too. That could be another thing. So, anyway, we're going to go into Tentacruel here. And Tentacruel is going to be able to outspeed this if it doesn't go for Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch isn't super effective anyway, so I'm not actually that worried. I thought, well, I could go for a Sword Dance here, but maybe they'll expect they can go for another move. Now, they're not going to go for how uh, the Sucker Punch, so they definitely weren't choice. And I'm just going to take this Stunky out with a nice little headbutt. So, bye bye, Stunky. Now, we got two more Pokemon left. The next Pokemon to come in here is going to be a Skuntank. So it's Stunky and a Skuntank. Not often you get to see, you know, both of those Pokemon on one team, you know. I mean, I feel like Skuntank's, you know, a little bit underrated, you know. It's got it's got a good, uh, you know, amount of interesting moves it can get. It's got good physical moves, special moves. It's got good bulk, you know. And uh, its typing isn't all that bad either. So now it's going to go for Sucker Punch. They both got Sucker Punch. I went for Sword Dance this thing because... I thought, well, it might have Sucker Punch, but I doubt it. But I'm just going to, you know, just go for that anyway, regardless if it has it or not, because I want to get that, uh, you know, attack boost. So now I can go for a Waterfall. I go for a Headbutt. So, you know what? I'm going to go for a Headbutt. And I went for a Headbutt for a reason. And I'm going to give you a clue to the theme team they're running. I went for a Headbutt for a particular reason. That's all the clues I'm going to give you. So anyway, they went for Sucker Punch. I couldn't get my flinch, which sucked. And they just kept going for Sucker Punch over and over again. I just went for Waterfall there because I knew they'd be able to get around it. But with Headbutt, I need to go first so I can try and get that flinch there. But bye-bye, Scum Tank. 
Last Pokemon we got here is going to be Coughing. So not often you get to see Coughing on a team with a Weezing too. So a pretty cool theme team here. So it's got the uh, Neutralizing Gas. I can go for Waterfall and take this out. I mean, I've got Dynamax Sue still up my sleeve. And uh, now I'm going to go for Waterfall on the Coughing. And it lived it. Lived actually really, really well. Obviously, it's the Everlight's hat. Now they're going to go for Clear Smoke, removing my Sword Dance there. So that would have been bad if I went for another Sword Dance and then got Clear Smoked afterwards. I would have had to go for a Dynamax. But now I can outspeed the Coughing and the next Waterfall is going to be able to take it out. And that, my friends, is both the battles with the Jellyfish Pokemon team. Hope you enjoyed it. Some really, really cool Pokemon on uh, not only my team, the opponent's teams as well. I'll be back with another video tomorrow, and peace out.